And I want to move on, Nelson, talk to you about uh, the momentum that seems to be building, uh, the ban stocks uh, or a congressman from uh, buying stocks. Well, that's right. So during her 35 years in Washington, Speaker Nancy Pelosi has always supported members being able to trade stocks, her and her husband, who's a financier, um, uh, according to the website, Unusual Whales, which you ought to check out. Nancy and Paul, once again this last year, beat the S&P 500 uh, on their investments in their stock trade. So, uh, and only five... give them a call. Oh, well, that's right. Only five <laughs> Republicans ranked ahead of her in market performance. So she's doing very well. Uh, last year, about 105 members of Congress traded with gains of over $464 million in various... Uh, investments. Uh, but all good things must end, and Speaker Pelosi is finally caving in to demands for her caucus to ban <laughs> stock trading. There's a host of proposals from Republicans and Democrats, everything from a total ban to saying, well, you've got to use mutual funds, blind trust, and they're also talking about expanding it to federal judges. Why with now? Why now? Because it's something that changes the conversation.